and stick it definitely to eat a little bit. So yeah, I've just spent the, uh, well, since midday really, cleaning all these out. They're indoor enclosures. And replacing it with the green tortoise pellet stuff. Because what was happening was, well, the tortoises are now spending the majority of their time in the garden. The um, soil or cocoa coil that was in here, where it's not being heated up, there's no UV light or um, heat source on it over the last couple of weeks started really stinking like proper bad and I was thinking you know this is unhealthy really the, so I'm getting the tortoises in at night and putting them in there into like a stagnant environment I thought I've got to hurry up and clean this out didn't really have time to you know sort out another load of cocoa choir blocks because they come in block form and you have to soak it in a bucket with water and then to loosen it up and then you have to leave it for a couple of days for it to dry so you can't stick it in a vivera and soak in wet so I thought what do I do yeah uh, I thought about aspen hemp which I've used before but I don't really like the sharp pieces and um, Bethany swallowed a couple before and it made me panic so I think you know just throw this in for the time being. It's only their indoor enclosures. And this time of year when the weather permits, they're outside anyway. So yeah, I've cleaned them all out. Definitely seems a bit happier. She's eating. And yeah, I mean this isn't this isn't the best substrate, it's not, but it does have its it does have its advantages. One of the best ones is um the torch should accidentally swallow a piece, it's completely digestible, it's just made from a compressed straw basically. So yeah, it would pass right through. Yeah. I've just um I have only just fed them actually. Oh look she's going she's had enough, she's going back to the bed. That's good, at least she's eating something. Yeah, I've only just fed them, and it's only basic romaine lettuce, the floret, and Chinese leaf lettuce. Just to, you know, tie them over, really, till the end of today. And see what the weather's like tomorrow. If they give it pissing out of rain on and off all day, they're going to have to stay in here again. But uh, if it's dry tomorrow and sunny, they'll be back outside. So, yeah, this is just... Uh, just an update really. My uh, mum when she does this, she does it a lot quicker than what I can do it. I think she might use a hoover or something. But it literally took me uh, took me about a good three hours or more. Yeah. yeah, anyway, I'll draw to a close for now. Enjoy the rest of your day people.